In this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Apps. Google Apps is a set of web applications that are provided by Google and these web applications include things like Google Email, Google Calendar, Google Docs and Google Sites. All of these web applications offer an online alternative to traditional office suites so you can look at Google Apps as an online office suite. Now the main advantage of Google Apps is that your documents are always available online and they can be viewed and edited from whichever computer you happen to be using. You don't need to install any additional software and Google Apps is a free service if you're using it for personal use. You can use it for business although uh, they do charge a fee for that. All you need really is an internet connection and a web browser such as Firefox which I'm using for this demonstration. Okay, first thing you need to do to start using Google Apps is to register for a Google Apps account. Now the URL here is quite long so if you type in Google Apps into Google and you'll get the search result which you can click on to take you to this page. Okay, first thing to do is click here on Get Started. And then you have these options here. You can either use an existing domain name or you can buy a domain name. And it says here the domain costs $10 per year. Personally, I would buy a domain name from another registrar like Namecheap or GoDaddy. Uh, GoDaddy in particular often have coupons and offers that you can get a domain for much cheaper than $10 a year. I already have a domain so I'm going to enter it in here. samowen.info and then click here on get started. And there we go, it's asking for my sign up details so we're going to add these in here okay I've filled all this information in here and Google Apps requires changes to DNS to properly set up services and you have to check the checkbox here that says you understand that if I cannot alter DNS records for my domain I may impact my organization's ability to use Google Apps. And I'll explain a bit more about all this later on. And if I go down the page, from here for an organization name, so let's call this Sam Owen. Type is personal, size of organization 1 to 5. Does your organization currently provide email accounts? Yes. And has our sales team assisted in your decision to sign up for Google Apps? And I'm checking the no radio button. So then I click on continue. And then we need to set up the first administrator account. So I'm going to enter a username. And I'm actually going to call this Sam at samowen.info and we'll put in the password and now I just need to complete the capture and then you have to read and agree to the terms and conditions and the additional terms for Google services and it says automatically enable free new services for my users as they become available and this is a good idea because it just automates everything and then click on I accept and continue with setup and there we go and then it says how would you like to set up Google Apps you can either have the Express or you can have the custom one and I'm actually going to use custom for this demonstration because it'll show off everything that's in Google Apps. So I'm going to click on custom. Okay, and this is the setup wizard. So we we'll just go through it step by step. Let's click on next. 
and the first thing you need to do is verify that you own the domain so we're going to click on next and I'm going to use the HTML code to verify my ownership so what I'm going to have to do is highlight all this and copy this to my computer's clipboard and then I need to paste this into the head tag of my website so I'm just going to pause the video while I do that okay and I've just put together a simple HTML page this is actually a brand new website so there isn't anything on there other than the placeholder that's been put there by my hosting company so I've just put together this simple little HTML page that shows that the website's under construction and I'm using NView which is a free HTML editing program and if I come down here so you can see the source you'll notice I've put this meta tag in here in between the head and end head tags so now all I need to do is upload this to my website so that Google can verify it and there's the web page now uploaded to my server so we can now continue with the rest of the wizard so let's go back to the wizard and click here on verify and there we go it says verification is successful so now click on continue and now we can add users and groups and it says will anyone else at samoan.info be using Google Apps with you and it says choose yes to see the options throughout this wizard that apply when using Google Apps with other people well it is just me at this website so I'm going to click on no and then click on next and now it says choose your apps so I can choose Gmail, Docs, Calendar and Sites you can also have these for the uh, business or education account which is Postini message security and Google video for business so let me just add sites to the mix here and then click on next and you can see it's asking me if I want built-in IM voice and video mobile access from a web device etc click on next now I'm going to choose the setup options and what I can do is migrate old mail and access contacts and you can also prevent spoofing so we click on next as is who's my domain host well my domain is actually registered with GoDaddy so click on next and then it says switch MX records at GoDaddy so now I need to log in to GoDaddy by clicking on this link here and log in and it's asking me to confirm the domain name there is to update so I'm going to enter that in and then click on confirm and that's it so now the MX records for samowen.info have been updated to use Gmail for the domain so now I can click on that to close that so there we go that's done so now click on next now it's telling me I need to activate the mail so go up here to dashboard
scroll down here to where it says email and click on this link here activate email now I've set it up with GoDaddy so all I need to do is click here on I have completed these steps and there we go that is now done and now I need to click here to continue with the setup guide and we'll click on next now it's going through to access Gmail in a web browser and this means that I don't have to be actually at my computer to access my mail I can do it from anywhere so we'll click that it says want to bring your old mail with you well there is no old mail on that account yet because it's brand new so I'm going to skip this and click on do this later and again access contacts there are no contacts currently set up for this brand new domain so again I'm going to skip this and click on do this later prevent address forgery this is actually quite an involved process and it'll take a lot of time on this video to show it so I'm gonna click here on do this later and now then there's my Google Calendar and this helps me schedule meetings appointments and so on so we're gonna set that up and I'll click on next and you can see there's my calendar so I can click here to see it and there we go there's my calendar and I'll be able to enter meetings and other information into here as time goes by okay let's just close that and we go on to the next one and there's Google Docs and with this I can create and share documents now I don't have any documents or spreadsheets that I want to upload at the present time so I'm going to click on do this later and then there's Google Sites which will enable me to create a website on this domain so if I click here on next you can go through all these other features here I'm actually probably going to install a WordPress blog on my site so I'm going to skip this so I'll click on do this later now there's mobile access and if I want to access applications from a mobile device I can do that as well you can have it from Android and if I had a Blackberry or an iPhone I could do that as well let's just show you how you do the Android one I'll click on next and this is what I would have to do on my smartphone to access and set up Google Apps on this I'm, it won't show up on the video if I do it so I'll click on do this later and now I can extend and customize my apps I can either add a marketplace app use the Chrome browser create custom web addresses or add domains I don't want to use Chrome so I'll just uncheck that and click on next and now you can see the various options I can have I can use products and task management I can use MailChimp for email marketing although one thing if you are an affiliate marketer it's probably best not to use MailChimp because they don't allow it and then there's Capsule CRM and some of these other applications you can add and you can see that these particular ones they direct you to are all free and I'm going to skip this and do it later and that's it that's the core of Google Apps set up I can now start to use it right away there are a few other things that you might want to look into when you set Google Apps up for yourself particularly the user training the administrator resources and the support options but what I've shown you in this video should help you to get started and get using Google Apps